Today's video is going to be about the reporting tools within Civil 3D, more specifically stakeout reporting tools for points. Um, I have had a couple of requests about changing the angle uh, type in a stakeout report. First thing that we need to do, the the toolbox, if, if you're not familiar with Civil 3D, is where we run reports for pretty much everything. And in order to get the toolbox to come into this tool space, in 2009, you just need to go to the general pull down and say toolbox. In 2010, it's actually really simple. You would go to uh, the home tab, and the, the first panel uh, actually is your tool palettes, and toolbox would be right in there. In order to run a report, it's actually super simple. You just go expand reports, go to the report that you want. In this case, we want a point report and a radial stakeout report. I'm going to run this. I'm going to just right click and execute. Uh, you pick which uh, XML data you want to run a report on. And in this case, it doesn't matter if everything is selected. I want a point. Uh, report for everything. So we'll say OK. What that does is it opens up Internet Explorer immediately asking you to help protect security. Internet Explorer is restrict restricting the web page. If you don't have ActiveX controls turned on, you need to click here and say allow block content. Otherwise nothing happens. Just say yes to run this. Uh, next point you need to set your occupy point. I know in in that file my occupy point was point one. My backsite point I desire to be backsite point two. I'm not going to put any other information in here. I'm just going to say append report and we'll see what happens. Now out of the box the reports come in with an azimuth angle type and most people want to change that. So I will show you where to do that. I'm going to close this report and I'm going to go, I'm in Windows 7 here, just if anybody's curious, uh, but it's going to be under All Programs, All Programs, Autodesk, and then, you know, Autodesk, AutoCAD Civil 3D 2009. Uh, and in AutoCAD 2000, uh, Civil 3D 2009, there's an Autodesk land XML reporting tool here and I'm just gonna click on that and it opens up this dialog box so you can say okay to the getting started we need to go to the settings tab and then go down to radial stakeout and if I want to change any of this information I can in this case I want to change the angle type so I'll click angle and on the right side the properties for that angle come up now the type is an azimuth and if I click on it I have a little black arrow you hit the down arrow and you pick what you want here I'm gonna pick angle right uh, also the units maybe I'll change that I'll go to decimal degrees for giggles uh, precision I maybe I don't want that much precision or maybe I want a lot I, I'm gonna keep it right there in rounding we'll keep to normal uh, because I've already chose the precision I want. When you're done with this, you can just say exit. So I get out of the reporting tools. I go back into Civil 3D. I run the radial stakeout once again. Don't forget to turn on your ActiveX controls to allow block content. Say yes. Put in my occupy point, my backside point, append report, and there you go. Now we have angle right, the distance, northing, easting, elevation. Um, these are all generic points for the demo, so it's all zero and pretty simple. But if you have any questions, feel free to you know shoot me an email, ghatch at microcad3d.com. Hopefully, I help. I, this helped you, um, and I wish you all the best of luck this year. Happy Civil 3D.